art isn't just... influence tattoos but for me it was tattoos influencing art it was it was the, the tattoo artwork I, I suppose because I was drawing it all the time back then there wasn't there was no digital art the, back then it was I mean I think my computer had like eight megabytes of RAM or I don't really have a style it's actually quite an interesting frame mm -hmm. that stable. and which is why I mean, it, 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 big style is back to the old school Sailor Jerry I'm not where I'm supposed to be I'm going
going in circles, going in circles. I should get away from here. There's a better place for me, better place for me. Trying to play my symphony. But there's so much noise around, so much noise around. Constantly fighting for space. I need to clear my mind, need to clear. Hello, my name's George Thornton and welcome to George Thornton Art. Today I'd like to introduce you to the art of Rachel Tai. Now Rachel Tai, classically trained, is keen on illustration and she paints these gorgeous cityscapes. They're acrylics on canvas, full of life, full of colour, full of emotion. One thing that is amazing about Rachel Tai... And meanwhile, actually, an art gallery in Nottingham is trying to entice new customers in a pandemic world by using virtual reality. George Thornton Art has set up a system that allows people to wander around its gallery from the comfort of their own homes through a VR headset. It says that the technology could be a real game changer in attracting customers overseas. This report from Navtesh Johar. Great art can transport us to spectacular landscapes, into safaris, and, um, other places. But what if we could be transported to the art? Sort of moving around this space 